Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy. This is going to be an updated take, a re-review, whatever you want to call it, the rare video where I reanalyze a mouse um, with the Lamzu Maya. A lot of people have been seeing this on my desk in recent videos asking what it is, and it is exactly that, a Lamzu Maya. Um, a lot of you guys probably remember my previous review on this red unit, which I did just have multiple issues on, and I said I wanted to try a later batch copy. So around a month ago, maybe a few weeks ago, when Lamzu sent me out their new keyboard, I asked them to include a new batch Maya. So that is that. So yeah, really my main issues with the Maya were the coating on this red version was just atrocious, completely slippery. Like my hands are not moist, but you can just see like I wipe my finger on the fucking mouse and there's just <laughs> marks on the coating. This new coating, it's not rubberized, but it's like very dry. It's not grainy, but it just performs very well in my opinion. There's no like marks picking up, no moisture on the coating. So it is very grippable. And I think that this actually makes the shape feel better as well. I've said this many times before that if, like the, you don't have a solid grip the mouse is like kind of slipping around your hand due to the coating that's going to influence how you like interact with the shape of the mouse so this new coating i'm able to get like a very locked like stable aggressive claw grip of it this mouse still is like on the smaller end of shapes that work for me um compared to the viper mini it is like wider just bigger in general so, like when this mouse dropped it was getting called a viper mini clone it was getting called like a smaller gpx which i just don't feel it is either it's just generally not as rounded not doesn't fill out your hand the same way um um, but it is a completely viable shape that I've been performing pretty well with. And yeah, I mean, the Maya shape has been talked about a lot before, but it actually is a pretty nice middle point between what has been really common, like just the aggressive back hump mice, think like the Ninjutsu Sora X2H mice like that. And it's also not just a flat mouse like the ULX or the WO mouse. So actually, after giving this mouse another run, I'm pretty, pretty high on it compared to where I was. I'm just able to like lock the mouse into the meat of my hands and just keep a consistent grip of it. The side button buttons protrude a lot they're in a good position they're clicky they're light so it's just really all around i'm having a much better time with this mouse the build quality is also much more like chewed up the sides feel completely solid whereas before i did have like some shell popping issues on my red unit but yeah, it really just came down to accepting that this is not a top tier shape for fingertips. So just completely abandoning that and then just trying to enjoy it as a claw grip mouse, which I actually was able to um, due to the changes on this newer batch and just, I mean, I don't know, liking the mouse a bit more in general. Um, so compared to other top tier ambi options under a hundred dollars i think this definitely has a place in the market in my opinion it's a much better shape than the atlantis mini compared to the x2h x2v2 it's just really going to come down to shape preference i would still say the x2 mini for fingertip far and away um the x2h i'm just really not a massive fan of those shapes so yeah maybe the lamzu maya over those and the old ninjutsu sword i didn't really love the shape of but they do have the new one which usps refuses to deliver to me so i just want to make a quick update on the lamzu maya so yeah the lamzu maya in its current state is definitely a contender for the retroactive boardsy seal of approval where if i got this unit initially it most likely would have gotten the seal of approval i mean the click quality is even tuned up they're a lot more responsive there's just less variance not responsive in terms of latency but it's just like a lighter faster click feeling again not in terms of latency just in terms of like actually activating the switch there's no creaking quality issues i do wish the clicks had like some form of noticeable comfort grooves on them but i mean really that's just a minor grievance i do hear that they have a lamzu maya large coming out soon which could like accommodate my hands a bit better but yeah generally i was just having a good time in around a week of just having this mouse on my desk testing it compared to the old version which i really just didn't like so everything feels much more tuned up and that's about all i gotta say for this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and next up is going to be a sprime pm1 review and all sorts of other stuff peace out